All right, guys, so welcome back to this part. And in this video, I'm going to explain you everything that is required to create our very first CRUD operation. So the first thing you need to do is to install the Angular app and you need to follow some steps. So you need to click on the get started, click on the get started and you have to set up your environment and the requirements are is make sure you have your node.js install and after that you need to just run those commands which is the npm install dash g for global and we are going to install the angular with the help of cli which is the command line interface and then ng new and the name of the app right so i want to follow all those steps uh, and um, uh, plus you need to uh, if you are, if you have watched my previous video where I explain how we can create the uh, API using Node, and um, the the code is definitely given the link in the description. So if you want to go directly and jump into it, you need to just simply download that code or clone that, and you can run with me. And you can also watch my previous video if you have any issues, right? So make sure you you also download that. And if you have watched my previous video with step by step, so that will be really much easier to follow along with me, right? So that's the uh, second step. And the third step is that make sure you have definitely if you have watched my previous video so you have already connected and created a new cluster all the steps are given in the in my last video so you need to click on the create a new cluster or if you want to create a new project you just need to click on here and uh, you need to go some some further settings so there is a button for that to create a new cluster right so in my case the cluster name is api dash crud and if you click on the connect option so this this will ask you three things connect with the mongo shell uh, and uh, connect your uh, application or connect to using MongoDB Compass, which in my case, I have click on the co uh, connect with the MongoDB Compass. I have a MongoDB Compass, so you just need to copy that URL and you need to install the um, MongoDB Compass, which you can, I wanna show you right now. So, <clears throat> so you need to go to your mongodb.com and click on the softwares and uh, then you need to click on the compass and uh, basically compass is a graphical user interface so it, that, that really help easier to create a new database or the collection so you just need to download that for the mongodb compass so these are the prerequisite required for that and uh, i hope this is all good for now right so once you are done with that the next steps that you need to follow along with me is once you clone that right the api project so i already open up my um on my visual studio course the node.js crud that i the backend basically that created in the in the last two weeks video so first you have to set up your configuration for your mongo underscore uri make sure you copy that and whatever the name of the username and the password and the name of the database which in my case which is api dash card definitely the, the the cluster that we have just created and um, you need to copy that url and put that into your mongodb compass so i need to just open up uh, uh, mongodb compass so you, once you install that and you need to simply copy that and uh, uh, let me uh, put that my compass so i need to disconnect with that and uh, i want to connect to the uh, new one right so i just close that for now and i need to open up again so let's find the mongodb compass so i, I have to go to my downloads actually so go to the downloads and uh, it's installed right here and i need to click on the mongodb compass.exe file and this is going to open up here and uh, i need to grab my url again and let's go into the into the software which is installed right now i just simply add my the username and the past same thing right i connect to that so this one to connect to the mongodb compass right as simple as that you can definitely watch my previous videos so this is basically the name of the database and the collection name which is the employees and we have added some data uh, before but now right now we don't have any collection so just leave that for now right okay so these are the steps that you need to follow after doing that all you need to go to your app.js and make sure you have your 
uh, your course install so in order to install the course so basically what are course so course are the shot is basically a shorthand for the cross origin resource sharing and this policy is used to secure a certain web server from access by the other website or domain so you basically needs to allow or restrict requested resources on a web servers depend on where the http request was initiated so if you ever work on the angular you see the http request has the 4200 port number and in order to access access that you you, you have to define the origin or you can simply define the way like i have i did that so there are multiple ways you can define so you need to install first the core which is basically the npm install and course you just need to do that and press enter in my case already installed so still i press enter and because it's installed so i don't need to mess up with that all right so you need to define your npm install course and then you need to just simply use that right after your body parser uh, or you, you can just simply define that and then that's all so otherwise it will restrict your uh, restrict the uh, server um, for the request in angular application so that is really essential to add the course right so these are the step from as far as backend server is concerned and now in as far as the angular app is concerned so let's first install that right so i'm going to minimize that i'm going to go to my desktop and let's create click here the uh, git bash here i'm using git bash so you need to go to the git dash scm.com in order to install that it's all up to you all right so i just want to grab the uh, very first command for the angular application so just copy that and i need to just simply paste it up here so this is going to install the input uh, and node package manager and uh, install globally the angular cli and you need to go to nordjs.com in order to install that all right so i i'm using the recommended version you can also use the latest version depending on upon all what you want to install and uh, you need to create here sign in to the in order if you want to create a new cluster you need make sure you have sign in and create a cluster here so these are all the requirements which i explained already in my last video so you don't need to worry with that and because i'm already signing it, it just redirect me back to the cluster all right so i just want to close that up and uh, so the first command is install and the next command that we need is the ng new and um, the uh, and the name of the application which i want to be mean underscore app so it's all up to you whatever the name you want to give for your application so i'm i give it the mean underscore app right so it says uh, it's not valid actually i need to apply some dashes sorry about that so you need to apply dashes here and that's how it's installed just like if you ever work on the react or view so basically that requires dash so in my case i have installed my um, npm install globally so still if you have any issues while installing the angular make sure you have set up your environmental variables if that is required um, for for basically pointing the npm location but i i think so it's very very you know, on very few few issues that you might face something like that but most occasions it's work fine right i'm gonna hold my video for now and i will be right back once once it's done all right guys so now the angular application has been installed successfully on my system and i need to just simply uh navigate to the folder so i need to go to the cd first i need to go to ls in order to check all my files and there are a lot of files right <laughs> so i just need to click on the cd mean underscore uh, i believe the name of the application was mean dash app yeah so mean dash app and just press enter and you need to if you are using visual studio code as a text editor you can simply type code and space dot and this is going to open up your um, code editor vs code right so in order to run my application all i can just simply do is the ng serve and dash dash open so that it can automatically open my uh, angular application right so this is going to open up the on the local host port number 4200 and um, we have the files which we are going to work on and uh, let's wait for that all right so it's going to compile that so everything that we are going to do in this uh, in this complete course is all I, I i try to explain every single thing which is basically how we can navigate how we can add the validations about a little bit about the file structure 
and which is commonly I, I did so many times and uh, I hope you guys can learn something out of it so I hope now the server is run successfully and uh, there we go so it's open up here on my edge and by default it's open up on your chrome so on my, on my settings i just give that right so there we go so now our angular application is installed successfully so i hope this is for nas this is really much for this video right so in the next video we are going to create some components and create the layouts and uh, we will just start working on the application so that's it and i want to see you in the next part